What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Local Light Skin, and today I'm back with another one. And yes, we do have a treat for you guys today. This is actually not a reaction. This is a personal story time on how I got catfished. Now, with this whole quarantine thing, right, all these girls are jumping on these dating apps, not probably to match with guys, just because they're freaking bored. How terrible is that? You spend all your non-sexual attention, and for those who don't know what that is, that's just you talking to her. That's your non-sexual attention. You spend all your time talking to her, right? Getting to know her favorite color, her dreams and aspirations. You ask to link up, and then she just doesn't respond. Women are like that. Women will suck you dry of all the attention you have. They're like vampires, but for attention. They'll bite your neck, take all the attention out, and then leave you freaking bleeding out on the floor. Isn't that, isn't that f***ed up? Isn't that f***ed up? I just had to bring that up because y'all women do that shit way too much. This was maybe four or five years ago. And as a black man, we're attracted to thick women. But there's a, there's a, there's a strong line between thick and five Big Macs away from being overweight. But sometimes girls know how to finesse the angles. As Drake once said, she believes, she believes in angles, angles more, more than angels. So this is what this girl did. To show off she was not fat, but curvy, she went up on her bed, right? She had a mirror, maybe 10 feet away, okay? She sucked in, nice posture, and she looked very hourglass-like. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like double D in the chest, you know, heavy ass chest. You know what I'm saying? Little, little waist but thick ass thighs, you know what I'm saying? So that's how she fooled me, number one. Number two, what these girls will do, if they're a little thick up in the face, they'll take their left or right hand, they'll place it back on like the, you know, like the jawline and press. So it goes from double chin to facelift for free. No Dr. Miami required. So that's what she did to suck me in. You know, she had a great makeup routine, beat face, the cut crease, all that shit. Highlight was popping, nice blue eyes. Like, she had it going on, at least what I thought. So, fellas, here's another thing. You need to FaceTime every chick you meet online before you go out there. And if she says, I can't, I'm busy, I'm babysitting, well, tell that girl, listen, until we FaceTime, we ain't linking for shit. Because some of you simps will take her on a nice-ass date. Can you imagine spending $100 on a date, filet mignon, lobster, ocean view, just to sit down with a girl you don't like because she's fat and ugly in person? Man, I'd be damned. So make sure you FaceTime her before you meet her. So we, me and her, we matched. We're talking casually. You know what I'm saying? We're going back and forth for maybe about a week. A week goes by, and I said, okay, like, she can hold a conversation. She's pretty cool, so let's ask her out. So she lives in Orange, which is like 25, pushing 30 minutes away from me. So I already invested a lot of time and gas to go pick up this girl. I get to her house and she lives kind of like a, like a rougher side of the city. So it wasn't rough, but it's just like, it wasn't bougie. I say, hey, I won't say her name. Let's call her Ashley. Let's, say, let's call her Ashley. Hey, Ashley, I'm outside. This girl comes out the door looking like a goddamn lineman for the NFL. This girl had an oversized t-shirt on, like a Travis Scott wish you were here, Travis Scott save my life type shit, right? Ripped black jeans, but mind you, mind you, the fat rolls were coming out of the holes and hanging. So it's like those jeans were holding on for dear life. Those jeans were put to the test. She needs to write a review on those pants and give them five stars. Those, I don't know how those pants made it through the day. They were just holding on for dear life, not to burst at the seams. And she had on like red vans. Like she dressed like a dude. Like, so as this girl's walking towards my car, you know, for a split second, I thought about putting that thing in sport mode and just taking off down the street because you're not gonna play me like that. But you know, I'm a nice guy, you know, I'm a nice guy. So it's like, what's the point of being an asshole? Just take her out for a good time and let, let's let it be, you know what I'm saying? She gets in the car and I'm like, wow, now this, this, this thing is up close. And I'm looking at her going, I 
messed up. I just got catfish, bro. This girl easily gained 30, 40 pounds. You know, she it's like this. She lost 30 pounds on pictures, but gained it back in person. It was just pathetic. So we're hanging out, ma'am. You go get ice cream. Yeah, I paid, okay? You stupid. I still paid. Um, I didn't want to be an asshole because it's like if I invite a girl out, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's your duty to, you know, take care of the bill. That's just how I think, especially on the first time. So we're hanging out, right? And I'll never forget this moment. She asked me, hey, are you still on Tinder? I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, how about you? Now, mind you, this girl is like a five out of 10 to me. So I don't, I'm not going to lie to protect her feelings. Like, I don't care. I'm, I'm, this is, this is going to be our last time hanging out. I'm not going to protect your feelings here. So she asked me that. I say, of course, I'm on Tinder. And then she says, well, I deleted mine. And I'm just like, huh? Like, why? And she says something. I'll never forget because I met you <laughs> and I'm sitting there like bitch what you better talk to before I do because I'm hurt of feelings so I mean you know I try hurry up the date you know get her out of here and you know then we get back to her house and she offers to smoke me out now fellas we always use this trick on girls hey shawty like come over to the crib with the smoke and then that's your way to you know make the move on her she wasn't about to finesse me, but you know what? I I paid for a date. I spent time with your ugly ass. At least you can do is smoke me out. So that's what she did, man. She she got close to me and tried to make it obvious she wanted me to make a move on her. But I was like, girl, I would make a move on you if you're the last chick on her. You wild. <laughs> so that pretty much concludes, man, the date story. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I got. That's how I got catfish my first time. It wasn't really a catfish. She just was 30 pounds lighter online and like 50 pounds heavier in person. But that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more story times like this, man, leave a like in the comment section. I'm more than happy to give you all some original stuff instead of just reacting to things. I know that's that stuff is kind of corny, but, you know, whatever. But that does it for my time, y'all. Y'all have a good day now. Peace.